So you guys voted and you wanted me to draw Gravity Falls. That's right, Gravity Falls, an American animated mystery comedy television series created by Alex Hirsch for Disney Channel and Disney XD. It ran from June 15, 2012 to February 15, 2016. And a lot of fans all over the world love Gravity Falls, so I can't wait to draw it in a Marvel style. So just to let you know, there could be spoilers, okay? So if you wanted to actually sit down and watch the whole series, I'm not sure if it's on Disney Plus or not, um, you might not want to watch the whole video because I actually add some things to the artwork that could be spoilerish, and there might be some spoilerish things in the facts that I'm going to say today, so you might want to save yourself from those things. So again, one thing I like to do whenever I'm drawing uh, shows with kids, uh, depending on what it is, I do like to age up the kids a little bit, just to make it fit a little bit more in with a Marvel style. So let's say that this particular drawing, it's 10 years into the future. So all of the characters I'm drawing here, it's how I imagine them being 10 years older. Okay, so they'll all be just a little bit older. So while I put this piece together, while I draw this in a Marvel style, why don't I drop on you some Gravity Fall knowledge and give you guys 12, 13 facts that you might not know about Gravity Falls. So before we begin, you might notice here that uh, I didn't have the camera on while drawing Dipper here. <laughs> but for the rest of the drawing, promise the camera is on, so sorry. I cut out that first part of me drawing uh, the first part of Dipper. So this series follows the adventures of Dipper Pines and his twin sister Mabel who are sent to spend the summer with their great uncle or grunkle Stan in Gravity Falls, Oregon, a mysterious town full of paranormal forces and supernatural creatures. The kids help Stan run the mystery shack, the mystery shack, the tourist trap which he owns while also investigating local mysteries. Can you tell I read that from Wikipedia? <laughs> Now, a lot of the characters in Gravity Falls are based on real people, okay? Gravity Falls was created by Alex Hirsch. The characters Dipper and Mabel are loosely based on Alex and his twin sister, Ariel. Seuss is based on an old college buddy of Alex named Jesus Chambrat. Hopefully, I said that properly. And Alex used his own grandfather for the inspiration for Grunkle Stan. However, the name Grunkle Stan came from Alex's great aunt who called herself... Granty Lois. The voice of Dipper is an actor named Jason Ritter. Wait, I know Jason Ritter. He's the son of comedic legend John Ritter, who I've been a fan of all my life because one show I used to watch with my dad all the time was a show called Three's Company, which starred John Ritter. So the next one could be considered a spoiler, okay? So you've been warned. But the name of the name of the main character is Dipper Pines, but the name Dipper is it's a nickname, and the reason he got that nickname is because he has a birthmark on his forehead that looks like the Big Dipper. And the inspiration for this came from Alex Hirsch's childhood. One of his friends had a huge acne problem. Okay, Hirsch would chart the constellations on his friend's acne in the sketchbook, and one day he found that the acne formed a perfect Big Dipper on his forehead. It's kind of mean, isn't it? <laughs> So here's another art mimicking life. Dipper and Mabel Pines are from Piedmont, California, the place where show creator Alex Hirsch is also from. And here's a fun fact too. The town of Gravity Falls was inspired by a real life town named Boring, Oregon. Yes, that's the name of a real town, Boring, Oregon. Oregon. They should have like a theme park there. Wouldn't you want to go to that theme park? Hey, let's go to the Boring, Oregon theme park. Whee! <laughs> Now, Alex Hirsch based the entire series on the exciting summer he wished he and his twin sister Ariel could have had as children. Since most of their actual summers were pretty boring, Hirsch would spend time daydreaming about encountering gnomes or solving mysteries. Now, during an interview with creator Alex Hirsch, he revealed that he is a huge fan of The X-Files and has been since he was a kid. And Gravity Falls was influenced greatly by it during its creation. Here's a fact you may not know. According to Alex Hirsch, Dipper and Mabel's first names are their parents' middle name. That's kind of interesting. And here's something for you guys to know in Filipino culture. Uh, well, maybe some other cultures too. Our middle names is supposed to be our parents' our, our parents' last name on the mother's side. So our mother's original last name should be the kid's middle name. Uh, so, little fact for you. Now, unlike most Western anime TV series where the character have either four or five fingers, 
Gravity Falls manages to mix characters having either number. So, according to former series writer, creative director Michael Rianda, hopefully that's how you say it, this is because some characters look better having four or five or six fingers to them. So that's why some have four, some have five, some have six. That's kind of weird. So the sweater you see me draw in this particular drawing is Mabel's uh, shooting star sweater. And the only reason I'm drawing the shooting star sweater is because it's the only one that she's worn more than once. You see, throughout the entire series, she has over 100 different sweaters. In fact, 107 different sweaters. Now, here's a deep cut for you. Gravity Falls is assumed to reside in the same canonical universe as the Adult Swim TV show Rick and Morty. See, during the end ending bumper of one episode of Gravity Falls, Stan's coffee mug, notepad, and pen fly through the portal as he's monitoring. And in an episode of Rick and Morty, the same three items are seen falling through the portal in the background. And I think that's because uh, the creator of Gravity Falls and the creator of Rick and Morty, they're actually good friends. So they wanted to do this little uh, little cameo, uh, as we say. Did you know you could Google map Gravity Falls? Give it a try. See what happens. In fact, let me try it right now. Oh! 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 So there are the facts about Gravity Falls uh, that I have for you today. Maybe you have some more. If you have some other facts about Gravity Falls that you think are pretty interesting, why don't you let me know in the comments down below. But I know while you, why you are still here. You want to see the full version of this Gravity Falls uh, drawing. But before we get there, why don't we go ahead and give you selections for the next Marvel Style video. So here are the choices for the next Marvel style video. Let's go classic Disney. Let's go back to the old uh, Disney animation uh, from the 90s. However, you know, some of these, all of these had remakes to them. Uh, so let's see if I can remake them in a Marvel style. Let's start with choice number one. Let's do Beauty and the Beast. Choice number two, The Little Mermaid. And choice number three, it is Aladdin. That's right, there you go. Beauty and the Beast, Little Mermaid, Aladdin. Which one do you want to see me draw in a Marvel style? Let me know in the comments down below and make sure you head over to the community tab to vote for your favorite which one I will draw in a Marvel style. Also, let me know in the comments down below what other characters you would like me to quote unquote Marvelize. In other words, draw in my style. Yes, let me know in the comments down below and maybe you will see your suggestions in the next video. But I know why you're still here. You want to see the full color version of this Gravity Fall piece and here it is, the full color version coming right now. You didn't know, today is my birthday. <laughs> didn't want to really do a special video because I feel all my videos are special, but I want to thank all of you guys for following along, for, for allowing me to do what I love to do as a career. And that is the greatest uh, birthday present you will ever know uh, you could give me. So thank you. If you want to, what really want to give me a birthday present, go check out some of my videos, go share them, hit that subscribe button, and that would mean a lot to me because that means that you are one of my best friends. Thank you guys for watching. You guys are the best. My name is James. I am the box office artist. I'm older, and I'm here to say, keep drawing. I'll see you all next time.